I've got a lot of questions about using the pen tool. I know people have been having trouble with it. I probably should have gone into greater detail in my other video, so hopefully I can um, answer some of those questions in this one. I'm going to do things pretty slow, and I'll try to explain the best way I can everything that I'm doing. First I'm going to show you exactly what the width does and the transparency. When you're using your pen tool, the width determines the width of the line and whether or not this part or this part is transparent will either make the fill transparent or the line transparent and I'll show you how this works. When I use a zero width that means that this part here the black won't show up and that and the fill will and that's how this works. Just like that. The red fill is showing up but the black isn't. If I were to change my width to 2, it would make this line like this. If I were to change it to 4 or 5, 6 or 7 or 8, it would make that line thicker. Now if I were to make this transparent, I would get just the thick black line. And if I were to make the black transparent, I would get the red. Now, using just the line is good for making straps and um, like bracelets or, or shoe straps, dress straps, stuff like that. Usually you wouldn't use a width of 8, but that's basically how that works. Now if you want to make a curved line, the best thing to do is a width of 0 and place the dot and then estimate where the curve would go. Just drag it and you're going to go to the second dot, right click, go to node type and go to line after. That allows you to basically make a line any direction without the segment forcing the line to curve. So line after and then when you place the second dot you can kind of make these types of shapes. And if you'd like, you could join it with the first dot, and that allows you to make sort of these skinny curves, just like that. Now, I have my create as vector checked. What this does is when you use the pen tool, it automatically puts whatever you draw as a new layer. You can uncheck this if you want and just have it created on your raster layer. When you do this, it creates a new shape and as you make more new lines, it will create more shapes. And that way you can see exactly and keep all the um, the shapes separately. So if you finish your design and you don't like one of the lines that you drew but you like the others, they won't all be connected and that way it's easy to edit it. Now, some people were having trouble tracing the body exactly because of the type thing I showed you earlier. When placing the dots like this, sometimes when you do it again it kind of forces this curve to get rid of that, you just right click, no type, line after, and that way it won't do that. And you can basically make it any shape that you want. Just like this. Now the pen tool is important because I'm later going to show you how to do hair and shoes and it's really precise lines and you're going to need to know how to use a pen tool. Alright, I hope that cleared everything up. If there's no questions, just post them in the thread and I'll hopefully be able to answer them for you.